here today with the Ocmo 12.8 volt 100 amp hour battery. It has low temperature charge protection. It has a bunch of, you know, bells and whistles that usually come with these things. I'm going to hook it up here to my battery analyzer. We're going to test the capacity. Um, I will say I have used this battery a few times. I've cycled it a few times. I always like to do that before I test them just to, you know, give them their paces. Uh, I did use it with an inverter to power some stuff when we had a power outage. You know, it, it performed admirably. Um, it lasted the duration of the power outage, which was like eight or nine hours. And, you know, that's what I mostly use these things for. I also use them for my amateur radio. I just have my little power pole plugs and I can run my radio equipment off of them. Um, you know, the 100 amp hours are a little big for that, but they're nice. This does have the nice fabric handle and yeah, pretty much just a, a standard lithium iron phosphate battery. So let me go ahead and get this test going here. I'm just going to set up the parameters. We're going to give it a name. This is Ocmo 100 amp hour. We're going to do the same. Ocmo 100 amp hour. It would help if I could type. And we go ahead and change the amps that we're drawing down at. And manufacturer Ocmo. There we go. We'll go ahead and start the test. And let's see what voltage it's getting right now. It's seeing 13.84 volts, which is pretty typical for these, these 12 volt batteries. And yeah, we'll come back when the test is done and see how it performed. If it performs well, then I'm 100% for this battery. Like I said, you know, you just hook up an inverter. You can run AC stuff off of it. You can just run stuff straight from it. Um, amateur radio is what I use it for. You could also use it for, I don't know, probably a ton of stuff. But we're thinking of moving and I'm looking to have a bunch of these batteries because we're going to have a off-grid building, hopefully, that I'm going to use as my studio. And I need to find a good battery that I can get a bunch of, that I can have solar charge, so I can go out there and actually film and power things. And yeah, so let's see if this might be a good candidate. All right, our test is done, and I'll give you a little bit of spoilers and say I'm pretty happy. But first, uh, let me talk more about the video. I was kind of all over the place there. So, you know, you could use this in like RVs, uh, boats, trolling motors, solar setups. Like I said, I'm looking for a good battery to use for my solar setup and, uh, you know, for like off-grid power storage and stuff. I also use it for my amateur radio. A lot of us love these LifePo 4s for amateur radio because they're so much lighter than the lead acid. Normally, we used to use the lead acid, but you now that these are starting to be widely available and affordable, it, they're just such a better option. So this is right around 20 pounds, I think. Um, you do get the 100 amp hours. It can charge with a 20 amp charger in about five hours. Um, it does do 4S4P configuration for larger systems. It does have um, some sort of warranty. You'll want to check the website on that. That could obviously change over time. And, you know, it's just a really great value. Now, it does have a battery management system, which protects over uh, from overcharge and stuff like that. You know, over discharge, overcharge, overcurrent, uh, short circuits, overheating. It has a low charging, or sorry, low temperature charging protection. So you can use it in colder climates, but it'll help protect itself. Um, yeah, I mean, it's uh, that's pretty much it. Like... You know, you'll get probably 10 years out of this thing, like 15,000 deep cycle uh, discharges and stuff. And it's 1,280 watt hours, which let's talk about that. So you, if you can see here on the screen, my original test, I messed up. I told it the battery was 10 amp hours, so I had to stop three hours into it and recharge the battery and, and start again with it at 100 hours because I was drawing down at one amp hour instead of 10 amp hours. So it was going to take forever. But you can see we got about 104.58 amp hours out of the test, which is 1,322.8 watt hours. So it overperformed a little, which is always nice. And, you know, it took uh, 10 hours, 27 minutes to run the test, drawing down at 10 amps. So, yeah, I mean, it's pretty good. Again, I said, like I said at the beginning of the video, I've used this uh, in some power outages to power some stuff via an inverter. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it so far. The, you know, I'm... Pretty happy with the build quality. It's got a strap. Um, 
not necessarily my favorite kind of strap, but it's still a decent strap. And, you know, you can always try to make something better with that. You can slide this out and kind of engineer yourself something else, as Cy Robertson would say. But, yeah, it's, it's, it's a battery. My only complaint with these is always, you know, they don't come with the best terminals, but a couple bucks, you can replace those yourself. I mean, it's just pretty standard. They just come with these, you know, cheap little metal screw things that aren't of the best quality. But again, a couple bucks, you can put something better in there. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I really like this battery. You know, it doesn't have a bunch of crazy bells and whistles to inflate the cost for no reason. It, it does what it does. I just need it to store power and let me have that power when I need it. And it's done that admirably. So yeah, if you're interested in this battery, I will have a link to it in the sticky comment. It's the Ocmo. They have various group sizes um, this is the size i prefer i know some people you know if you're putting it in as a trolling motor or something you might want the, the smaller ones but i like these ones um, most of mine are this this group and <clears throat> they're just nice i don't know i'm rambling i'll see you guys in the next video have a nice one